I did a presentation today for Alpha Sites, which is an expert network, where they were asking some questions about the differences between WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, and GoDaddy Website Builder. And I want to make a follow-up video uh, just to share some of my thoughts, what I covered in that presentation. It was an hour-long presentation. And just the differences between these platforms, because I think a lot of people don't understand when they're getting into it, there's a lot of marketing around your Squarespace and your Wix where people think those are easier to use. But actually the way that the advancements have become with WordPress, it's actually just as easy, in some cases easier to use than a Squarespace or a Wix. And GoDaddy Website Builder is just terrible. That's something you don't wanna use at all. Not only is it not good for the SEO of your business or the search engine optimization, but it's also really bad with the design. So like, you're not gonna be able to make a very good looking design with a GoDaddy Website Builder. And the cost is about the same, very similar between them. GoDaddy Website Builder is a little bit at the lower end. You know, Wix is at the high end with their business side and then Squarespace is kind of in the middle. WordPress is the cheapest by far if you just do it on your own because like all of these are, none of these we're talking about when we're comparing prices are about what you're gonna pay an expert to build those. So if we're just talking about doing it on your own, you know, WordPress is actually the cheapest. It's cheaper than GoDaddy Website Builder per month. So it might be only be like eight bucks a month to do, Go, to do WordPress. It's gonna be like, 18 per month to do GoDaddy Website Builder, 25 or 26 per month to do Squarespace, and 30 per month to do Wix. So that's kind of like the way that it works. And basically with WordPress, you get a way better dynamic platform. You can do much better SEO. There's plugins like SEO Yoast, which helps you build SEO much more powerful. It actually trains you on how to do SEO. There's categories and tags and blogging. It's all built into it. So the SEO is going to be much stronger. But some of the things that uh, you need to look out for is you have to have a good hosting platform with WordPress because it can get hacked. So when we're talking about Squarespace and Wix and GoDaddy Website Builder, those are all proprietary and they're managed by those companies. You cannot access the code so they don't get malware in there. So that's one of the differences between WordPress. WordPress is open source, meaning that everybody knows what the code is. So a lot of people build ways to break in and hack those websites and send out malware. So if you're trying to do a WordPress site yourself, you need to be concerned that you, you, know, you need to have a good firewall, you need to have a good backups, you need to know what you're doing. And that may be where you wanna rely on an expert. Like my company, we do all that for you. So our hosting for WordPress, you know, we have a firewall in place, we have a malware scanner, we have backups in place, we do all your software updates and plugin updates, we do everything for you. And if it ever breaks, we just fix it for you for free that's included for your website. So it, it's really just peace of mind for you. But just know that if you're going to do your own WordPress yourself, you're gonna pay less, like eight bucks a month if you do a, a GoDaddy website uh, WordPress, but you know that could get hacked uh, and it could break and something could happen. Um, so you wanna make sure you buy the backups from GoDaddy and you could definitely do that. Uh, ask GoDaddy about the backups and you know any security that you could have. They have a security plugin too that will scan for malware. So you wanna make sure those things are in place, but by the time you buy the backups and buy the security scanner, you're gonna be up to close, ours is 25 bucks a month for our hosting. So you're gonna be almost pretty much close to that. And then if you wanted to switch to us, we would just do all that for you. So we do all the updates included. It takes a lot of time to do updates. We have to log into your website and manually update the software and the plugins and make sure things are working properly, nothing breaks. If it breaks, then we have to roll the site back and fix it. And that's a lot of time. And that's time that you know, you're know you not working on your business. So I would highly recommend reaching out to an expert like our company. We certainly can set you up with some really good hosting. But those are the main differences between the platforms is that the SEO is really strong with WordPress. The cost is really low. The functionality and design is incredible with WordPress. It really is the number one in most categories. WordPress is number one. The only thing that GoDaddy Website Builder is number one in, because it's it's at the very bottom and everything else, is with customer support. There is an actual phone number you can call GoDaddy and they will talk you through it. There is no support with WordPress at all unless you reach out to an ex, you know, professional like myself. There's a lot of developers out there that will work on WordPress, but there's no number you can call to get help. And then in the middle is the Squarespace and the Wix. They don't have phone support, but they do have like a chat support and like a ticket system that you can do. So they're kind of in the middle. You know, They're not super great, but not super bad either, kind of in the middle. So that's kind of the range. So on the pricing, WordPress is, that, is the king of, of the pricing. It's the cheapest, unless you hire somebody and they're expensive or whatever. But 
the support is gonna be challenging. You need to have an expert. The hosting and the security is gonna be challenging. The SEO is the number one thing with WordPress. So those are all the differences between the platforms. You know, there's many, many details. I went into a full hour. This has only been five minutes. So if you'd like to know more about these different platforms, you're trying to make your decision on what platform to, to put your new business website on, definitely reach out to me. I would love to help you out and guide you in that process. You can comment down below and I'll answer your questions there. You can email me at j at skypnt.com. You can certainly call me 406-208-8733. Love to answer your questions. Thank you so much, as always, for watching my videos and I'll catch you on the next one.